Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Rayfield, everything you need to know about it, and just like a full, you know, like, a uh, full deep going, deep explanation of Rayfield. So, first, what is Rayfield? So, Rayfield is, uh, Schlex's, aka Sirius's new library that came out in, uh, comparison to Orion. It is basically the exact same as Orion, but it has a lot more features. Uh, when it comes to coding, it is very, very similar to Orion. So if you already know Orion, this video should be a breeze for you. And we're just going to get it, uh, straight into um, going ahead and just breaking it down and showing all the stuff you can do with it. So yeah. And before we start, keep in mind, not every feature that is going to be here is um, actually uh, on it yet. And it is still in beta. So um, first things first is open source. And what this means basically is that you have the entire UI and all the animations for free. And this is actually really, really good because um, you can actually learn from this. Like, you can learn a lot of stuff. You can uh, go ahead and copy their animations if you want for, um, like, really good um, really good animations. And if you want to make your own, like, have dragging and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it's actually very, very useful if you want to go ahead and do it. So, Schlex and Iray made it. It's very good if you would like to uh, use it for uh, developing your own thing. Just... Make sure to provide credit, don't skid it. And we're gonna get straight into the documentation. So first we're gonna go ahead and boot the library. So I have a VS Code project opened up right here and it is currently in a Python file. So I'm just going to go ahead and create, uh, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open a new folder real quick. All right. And then we're just gonna do, all right, here we go. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and start booting the library. So this is how you boot the library. And then what we're going to do is go back, back to Chrome and here we go. So we're going to start with secure mode. Okay. So right here, if you're, if the game is trying to run, uh, you know, on is detecting or crashing when you use face two, whatever, try using secure mode. Okay. And, uh, as you see, it was secure mode and, um, trying to reduce detection. Um, I don't really know what this does so we're actually i'm just gonna go take a look at the source and see what the function does all right so what it actually does is it sets the i guess the uh the ui's um the ui's location to the camera uh because most anti-cheats will actually look in the core gui and starter gui for uh any unknown guis that aren't supposed to be there so they can get rid of them and this actually puts it in the camera and you most of these don't actually look in there so that's all secure mode does which is uh, it's pretty pretty cool actually but it's very easy <laughs> um so what we're actually just going to do is we're not going to toggle this because this is just a base plate but if you're having trouble you can go ahead and toggle it okay enable configuration saving this is for if you want to have configurations we're going to use this so we're just going to have Rayfield load configuration and we're just going to put this at the bottom of our code right here because we're just going to have configurations and then we're just going to copy this whole sample and we're going to create a window. Okay, so we'll do local uh, window equals Rayfield create window and then we're going to call this the we're going to call this the uh, tutorial uh, actually we'll go, yeah tutorial. And then we're going to do at locus hashtag sum 101. Okay, and then we're gonna have the loading tile as uh oh as IGN Locus on white on YouTube. Okay, and then the subtitle is by Locus. Cool. Okay, we're gonna have configuration saved, and this we're just gonna call this tutorial hub. And this is uh the name of the configuration. So this is the name of the config. I think that can, yeah, so the name of the actual file, which can save all your settings. Okay, and we're actually going to do a key system because this has a built-in key system. So you don't actually have to use anything externally, although it is a string key system. So it could be, ah, uh, it could be decompiled pretty easily. Um, so key settings. All right. The title is just going to be tutorial, tutorial, actually tutorial, we'll just call it key system at Logus. And then subtitle is going to be. Actually, we'll just have it like that. And then join the Discord. Discord GG. We're just going to put it so full fate. Make sure to join this Discord, guys. Great Discord. Uh, you can go chat with your friends and you can buy our script hub that's going out soon. And we're going to have our key as soul fate. What well, the fuck? Okay. Now we have our key system. If we go ahead and execute this, you will notice that when we load it, 
it should execute and it did not execute because I don't even have signups running. Oh. Oh, I'm not using WebSockets, that's why. Okay, we're just gonna execute it like this. Okay, so here we go. Here's our key system. You can uh you can't actually move it around, which is weird, but if we put sulfate dot what the fuck. Hit enter. Here we go. I see on Lucas on YouTube. And here we go. We have our window. We can go ahead and uh you know just uh disband it. And then if we hit X, it'll go away. And if we hit right shift, it'll pop back up. Okay. So uh, there we go. We have our window. So we're just going to get rid of this and we're going to go back to coding and we're just going to go scroll past this and we're going to create a tab. Okay. And we're just going to call this tab, uh, local tab equals main. And then we're going to have a section and then call it main. Actually, we'll just call it main stuff or something like that. And then we can go ahead and, uh, th okay, updating this section. This is so you can actually just set the name of the section, I believe. And then this is for notifications. So we're just going to go ahead and notify the user. And we're just going to get rid of this, actually. And we're going to notify the user right here. And we're going to put <laughs> sulfate discord. Oh, geez, sulfate. I'm only doing this just to show you all the stuff that's new to it. And we're going to create a button. This is how you can update a button too. Okay. And we'll just make it print, print function. Okay. And then this is the callback. So it's the same as Orion. So we're just going to do the callback as print, uh, discord.gg. Okay. And then we're going to create our toggle. Show you guys an example of the toggle. And I'll show you guys what all this does. I'm not going to change anything. And then here's our slider. And uh, the color picker is not in the beta yet. Keep in mind, this is in beta still. And uh, so you can do all this stuff too. You can create a label, paragraph. But we're not going to worry about this. You can also create a text box, a key bind, drop down menu, all that stuff. And of course, you can destroy it. And you can update the key bind of the actual menu. So we're just going to go ahead and execute this. So we execute it. Go. Okay. This is what it is. So here's our notification. Uh, I don't have an icon because we didn't set one. But uh, here we have our print function. So if we click it, you'll see if we hit F9, it's going to print this card use of sulfate. There we go. Um, then what we're going to do is you see the toggle. It looks really nice, actually. And then here's our tabs up here. And here is our slider. So it looks pretty cool. Okay, and um, that's practically the library. It, that's really it. It's exactly like Orion. Um, all you really have to do is copy and paste it. I'm only doing this to give it more notice because I think it deserves a little bit more than it actually does. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.